Well, yes, Mike, and you know, Cincinnati police are investigating this latest brutal killing. They were also patrolling the street at this heartbreaking memorial. I have a lot of friends this has happened to, and I would tell them, I'd say, I can't really say that I know how you feel, but today I can say I know how you feel. A sense of heartbreak hitting every generation of this family tonight. Grandmother Rhonda Baker and great aunt Angela Hollingsworth are devastated at the shooting death of 18 year old Avante Baker Beatty. I'm just really floored. You know, I didn't, I'm just shocked. It took our whole family. Along Lexington Avenue, Avante's mother remembering his heart as others light candles in the shape of one. He was sweet and sour at the same time, but um, overall I think he was a good kid and he didn't deserve this at all. Tina Macer says she ran to Avante's side after he was shot yesterday afternoon. That could have been my baby and that's how I looked at him. And that's why I'm so touched by this whole thing because I was there. She wrote a poem in his honor, feeling like maybe something higher put her nearby for a reason. So I dare y'all to help somebody else. I dare y'all just to try to put your trigger happy finger away so I can dare you not to die. As Avante's family cries for a young life stolen in seconds, they also feel grateful Macer didn't leave him alone. Thank you for what you did just being there with him because you're probably the last person that he's seen, you know? Oh, God, it just hurt. And those raw emotions, just everything at that vigil tonight. Avante's grandmother says when she last saw him, she fed him, she talked with him, told him to stop what he was doing and get himself together. She said this senseless violence just has to stop. We're live at CPD headquarters. Dan Griffin, WLWT News 5.